for a performance and to do justice to that, we have Samuel Sefas. He's a Nigerian gospel singer who professionally started his career in 2012. However, I guess I got ahead of myself uh, before the performance, though. Uh, let's have a conversation with Jane. Jane Ogoye is who I'm going to be talking to right now. Uh, it's, let's do parenting first, okay, because we are trying to get our performer ready uh, to get the performance uh, on the way, okay? So, well, Jane is a career mom, <laughs> and of course, uh, she believes that motherhood should not deny any mother of the opportunity to thrive even in her career, personal life, marriage, and business. She founded Fab Mom NG in 2017 and has grown to become one of Nigeria's foremost parenting platforms for moms, parents, and stakeholders. Today, she will be talking about parenting guiding your children through accidental exposure to explicit content. Kind of similar to what we talked about uh, during the coffee juice earlier. You remember that one during What's Up and About? Well, it's a pleasure to have you in the studio with us today. How Thank are you, you doing? I'm very well. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Explicit content. Before we talk about what to do, what exactly constitutes ex explicit consent, the content? Because some parents think certain things are explicit. Some are like, no, this is basic what exactly constitutes it? Okay, thank you. Um, explicit contents are contents that are offensive and are not age appropriate. So when you talk about explicit content, they range. So it could be um, X-rated content. Mm -hmm. It could also not necessarily be all about sex. Mm -hmm. It could be kissing. Mm -hmm. It could be suggestive body movement. It could also be a form of abuse. Mm -hmm. So anything that will offend the senses and expose your child to something that is not age appropriate is explicit. Okay, so when you find yourself in that position, I'm just going to ask you what is appropriate for each age. But when you find yourself in such a situation, starting from the child coming into the bedroom when the child should not, in such cases, how do you handle it? So I think before we delve into how we should handle it, I think the first thing we should just briefly talk about is prevent it. Prevent. Because it can be very awkward. Imagine you and your partner are in the heat of it and your child burst into the room. So to avoid such instances, why don't you just prevent it mm. by ensuring that you lock your door? Mm. Or if you must, you must ensure that the lights are dim, mm. you have loud music playing, mm. or you just walk around a time when they are sleeping. Again, it also depends on the age of your child. Mm. For children under two, you may not, or under three, you may not really have a lot of... On that, on that one and a half these, uh -huh, days. these days, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to ensure that you have all of those on check. Um, what was the question again? Yeah, so I was actually asking that. Mm. How do you handle it then? The first thing you need to do is to get dressed if you are not dressed and, you know, guide your child out of the room. Again, it depends on the age of the child. You get dressed. You have you to get dressed. dressed. Uh -huh. okay. And then you see how awkward it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guide your child out, out of, of the, the room, room and into his or her own room. Okay. And just, you know, keep calm, you okay. know. And then the next day... What do you say to the child though? Oh... Uh, um, <laughs> so depending on the child's age again yeah, uh, yeah. Um, told me why are you in my oh let's go to, let's go to your room mommy I can't sleep mm. oh, yeah, let's go to your room mm. that's for a child that is still yeah, a child yeah. but for the older child you have to talk about it mm. the following day you see a three year old is likely to slap the father uh, what are you why, doing well, to my mommy? Why, why is mommy? Uh, <laughs> why are you beating mommy? And you know that complicates it even more. It does more. complicate it. But the older child, you, you have to talk to... about mm. it the following day or when the mood is clear. Don't be tensed. Mm. Find out what the child saw. Okay. Explain to the child that this is what adults do. Do. Okay. It's on, only for the confines of marriage. Never and again, it. Yes, it's mm. between the confines of marriage. Again, it will be an, it's an excellent opportunity for you to also bring up the sex Education. talk. Okay. Uh, yeah, the body safety talk and just go over it again. You see how awkward it is? Even me answering this question is awkward. Well, just if so just prevent it. If your door is... Go and put key. Just go and put key. <laughs> just go and put key. I think that's a lot better. Yeah. Now, for, for children that have been exposed to it, yeah. now some parents have experienced this, say, like five years ago. Yeah. They didn't do anything about it. Mm. And there are certain things that are probably happening to the children now that I fall out of that even, even without them realizing. Mm -hmm. For parents in such situations, what do you recommend they do? You have to remedy the situation. Um, once your child stumbles on explicit content accidentally, what do you do? Mm. Talk to the child. Again, 
make sure it's age appropriate. appropriate. Um, you have to do all the filters, the whole censoring on TV, on their smartphones, have the parental control. And also, if you are someone who has a very busy career, you know, very busy parent, busy mom, busy dad, and the child spends a lot of time more with the nanny or the caregiver, you have to also have the caregiver on, on board. On board okay. So my child must not look at your phone because, I mean, your, the caregiver is an adult. Yes. So you can't really control. You can't, yes, you you can't, can't say, give me your phone. I don't yes. want you downloading. Mm -mm. My child must not look at your phone, please. Mm -hmm. And then you also talk to the child. You know, don't look at auntie's phone because your child can pick it up mm -hmm. and can be exposed to anything. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it may not even be the caregiver. It could also be your own phone. Yes. Yes. You know how we have we are on to um, we are on a lot of WhatsApp groups. Yes. And if you don't set your phone um, privacy, you yeah. can download things automatically. Yeah. So sometimes you look at your gallery like where did this come from? Yeah. So imagine and you know where kids play with phones. They could pick up your phone to take pictures or play with games and they will stumble on it. So I always preach prevention. We can't entirely prevent it. But when it happens, just take it in your stride, be calm, be cool, explain it not in a way that will confuse the child the more. You know, make it age appropriate, go over the body safety, talk about boundaries, you know, what you should do, what you should not do. Mm. Okay, so now we've established what you need to do. Yeah. However, we also know that sometimes parents can only try their best. Oh, yes. You, you, you mentioned the fact that you need to find out what the child has seen. Yes. However, some children are very crafty. Some of them, they are way above their yes. ears. Yes. There are some children that will just tell you honestly and you will be able to mm -hmm. fix it. While some, they know more than they should. So yes. they feel, ah, let me not say I saw this. So, because mm -hmm. my parents will ask, how come I know what mm -hmm. I saw? Mm -hmm. You know, all of those. Like, if you are the kind of parents with that kind of child, you know, the one that is too smart for their own mm -hmm. self, what do you do? I like what you said. You must know your child. <laughs> yes, very Because important. if you understand how your child reasons mm -hmm. and how smart, because no two 10-year-olds are the same. Never. Because exposure is different. Uh -huh. Once you know how your child reasons and your child's level of, let me say your child's level of naivety, mm. you will know how to respond. Mm. You know, sometimes you are protecting your child at school. Your child does not have access to a smartphone. Your child goes to school. Some children bring phones to school. Mm. I remember the first time my, my daughter saw Snapchat on my phone. I was shocked they knew what Snapchat was. Wow. They're like, Mommy, use Snapchat. You'll have better pictures. Or use TikTok. Uh, like, TikTok, TikTok. I was shocked. Like, so I asked them, how did you know this? They said, ah, my friend in school, yeah. she downloaded it on her tab. Mm -hmm. So this is me protecting my child and my child is exposed to someone, yeah. you know, something else. So don't underrate any child. Even music. Even music. You know, the lyrics. School boss. School boss. <laughs> you can't really... Or, uh, birthday parties. Uh -huh. Will you go to a birthday party and say, please don't play Ashake's music or I don't want this? You don't really have control. So do your bit at home and just try as much as possible to protect their innocence. Okay. So basically, as a parent, do your best. Do your best. Just as you said. Do your, you your best. Do your you best. don't know what your child is up to at school. Exactly. Exactly. And well, just keep the conversations going on and yeah. on and on. Thank you so much for your time, Jamie. Thank, you. Thank you so much. It's always an interesting conversation Thank with you. you. Okay, remember the performance I mentioned earlier? Well, it's time for that performance. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Wake Up Nigeria.